Hey guys, so I am on my way to Turinga today to pick up a very special guest. This guy has been in real estate since 1994. He writes over $2 million GCI, and he once sold the same riverfront property twice in six months, totaling $24.5 million and $620,000 commission. But something that you might not know about him is that before he got into real estate, he used to own restaurants in Rosalie and Graceville called The Contented Tummy. So let's pick him up. Jason Adcock, cheers mate. Cheers, good to see you. Good to see you too. What are we drinking today? Uh, we're drinking a uh, double shot flat wide. Oh, that's, I can do that. <laughs> it's not too weird, I like that. Yeah, it's not a piccolo. It's, or... Yeah, or a almond piccolo, you know, frappuccino or... <laughs> More mainstream. Yeah, it's more mainstream. But with an extra kick of caffeine. Is that you? More mainstream with a, with an extra kick. When did you get into real estate? I uh, got into real estate uh, back in 1994, so uh, coming up to my 26th year. Wow, 1994. I started uh, at working at uh, Ray White Kenmore under a guy by the name of Don Marion that brought Remax uh, to oh, Australia. yeah, yeah. I worked with him for around about 12 months. Benjamin Smith uh, bought the office at Ray White Kenmore. I lasted around about another year. And then I went out on my own. You went out on your own, what, within a year or two? Uh, within two years. Within two years. Yeah. And We're, when you say on your own, like you started your own office? Yeah, started my own office. At the time, it was a, a franchise, which is Rain and Horn uh, Kenmore. We had a cracking start. We started with 15 salespeople. Wow. And we ended up being the number one office in, in Queensland uh, in our first year. Wow. Of, 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 uh, and, you know, that, that was back in 1997. Something I've known about you for a long time is you sell prestige property. I mean, it's in the name, right? Adcock Prestige. Everything yes. about you is is all about selling prestige property. How did you get into that? Well, when I first started in real estate, um, I'd come from the restaurant industry. Um, I knew, obviously, a, a t you know, we had a restaurant at Rosalie and also a restaurant at Graceville. And uh, we got to meet a, a ton of people. And it was a fantastic start into real estate because we had that uh, huge network of people out there in the community. The first sale that I actually made in 1994 was a, a house out at Pullenvale for $550,000, which the same property today is probably worth around about $2.5 yeah. And so you've sold prestige ever since then? A a absolutely. Like I, I think my average sale back in 1994 was you know, nudging 500000 back then. Average sale now is probably around about $2.75 million. Wow. At the moment, uh, we're on track to do uh, in excess of $2 million in um, uh, GCI. Yep. Uh, we've just had a fantastic uh, September. We did 400000 in September. 400000 GCI in a month? That's right, for September. Shit. It was a good month. <laughs> for you, it's price range. That's your niche. A absolutely, with, yep. without a shadow of a doubt. Primary aim when I established the brand back then was to look after the, the nicer properties, yep. um, you know, throughout the Brisbane, not suburb uh, and area focused, but price focused. Okay, so you'll sell all over Brisbane? Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. We've, yep. we've, you know, I've sold in probably 45 or 50 different suburbs throughout Brisbane. It's not about everyone in that suburb knowing you, it's about people in that price range knowing you. Absolute different skill set um, as far as uh, the types of people that you're dealing with. Yep. Very successful entrepreneurial people, very strong-minded, confident people. Yep. And you've really got to be able to sort of deal with those types of people on a consistent basis. But you've also got to be top of your game when it comes to marketing. In the last two years, ramped up our targeted digital marketing. Yep. Uh, and that's currently, um, achieving 50% of our sales through this targeted digital marketing. You, I've always known, have been a big career mail advertiser. And still are. And still are. We're the, the third biggest brand behind uh, Ray White and Place at the moment. And are you find, finding that print's coming off a, a bit? What I'm finding is uh, the, the properties that we tend to be doing, the print media campaigns at the moment, are usually the properties over $3 million. Okay. But the properties that are generally under $3 million, we're doing really targeted, integrated uh, marketing um, on all the social media platforms and also the targeted Google ads. We sold a property the other day for $4.7 million on King Arthur Terrace at Ten Tennyson. It sold in within three days of being on the market. It wasn't loaded up onto realestate.com.au and the buyer came off an Instagram ad. Hey mate, talk to me about some of the people that you deal with in this price range. You're yeah. dealing with specialist doctors, you're dealing with entrepreneurial people, sometimes you're dealing with reasonably famous people as yep. well. But can you tell us any of the famous ones? <laughs> Can you, can you? What, what goes on behind the scenes when you're selling prestige what, property what, stays a secret. What, what goes on at Adcock Prestige stays at Adcock Prestige. But mate, what are some of the like the best negotiations that you've had? It was a property uh, on the river at uh, Tawong. 
I sold it uh, twice in the period of uh, six months. Total value of those two sales was $24.5 million, $620,000 in commission. Um, I sold it the, the first time uh, for a shade under $11 million, and then it came back on the market, it was subdivided, and then I sold it the second time to a person that missed out on it the first time for $3 million more. We were celebrating that night. <laughs> Is this when you bought your number plate? I, for those who don't know, uh, and if you've seen Sold driving around, that's this guy. I'm pretty attached to those plates. I, I bought them at a, a PPQ auction at Victoria Park uh, Golf Course around about uh, 10 years ago. Wow. For uh, 25 grand 10 years ago. Yeah, well, there was about 30 top agents bidding on it that was night. There really? That would have been a dick-swinging competition. <laughs> <laughs> I told my wife before I went in there that I wasn't going to go above $8,000. I walked in the door at 10 o'clock that night with this really guilty look on my face, <laughs> and she just said to me, you've gone way over 8000 <laughs> So, mate, Adcock Prestige is you. Yes. Jason Adcock, Adcock Prestige. Yes. And so what you've done is you've branded yourself with your name very well. Mate, tell us about that. What you've got to understand about the people that, are, and particularly the market that I'm in, the, the Prestige property market, sort of over $2 million, is those people want to deal with a very experienced individual. They're not dealing with a brand name. They want to deal with a person that looks after those types of properties on a daily basis, yeah. and they like to deal with the owner of the business, yeah. the person that owns the brand. Yeah. Like, do you have an office? Yes, I do. Yeah, like a street front office? No, not a street front office. I have had commercial office space. So for 18 years, I have not had retail office space. So for 18 years, you haven't had a retail office space and you haven't been part of a, a large franchise. You've just run under your own name. And you've been killing it this whole time. Absolutely. I mean, I'm very passionate about what I do. Obviously. You know, I think it's all about staying uh, relevant yeah. um, in the current marketplace. And you've got to stay on top of what's working out there in the, yeah. in the marketplace. And yeah. work completely on your own? Uh, we've got uh, my PA uh, yeah. that's been with me 16 years. Wow. And uh, every time she asks for a pay rise, I make sure that I give her more. Okay. Uh, and I've got my wife that works in the business uh, three to four days a week. The deal that I've got with my wife, she said, Jason, as long as you give me an overseas holiday every single year, a trip to Melbourne or Sydney, you know, maybe in Easter time, yeah. uh, and you take me out to dinner every Saturday night, I'll support you as much as I possibly Mate, can. that's beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Relationship advice on Drive By Dan. This is our first. I love this. How long have you been married for? Uh, we celebrated our 29th wedding anniversary mate. on Sunday. Congratulations, yeah. mate. We get on really well in the business. and She uh, is the, the, the female front of the business. Right. How hard do you work? How many days a week do you work? How many hours are you doing a week? Currently working seven days a week at the moment. Wow. Up, up until around about two weeks ago, I was working six days a week, Monday to Saturday. But just the sheer volume of properties that are coming to the market in the prestige sector at the moment. I've got to... You've got to be there. I, absolutely. I've got to open up on Sundays. I'm actually even doing auctions on Sundays now. Wow. Over the next little while, we'll probably have uh, somewhere between sort of 22 to 26 ongoing listings. A lot of them are auctions. Do you do your own auctions? Absolutely. I've done around about 1,600 auctions uh, in my real estate career. Yeah, awesome. And it is a very powerful listing tool when you can say to the client of these multi-million dollar homes that not only are you the agent you're the auctioneer as well you're the auctioneer as you're well you're a, a one-stop shop gives me a real advantage in the marketplace because uh, there's probably only around about three or four of us in brisbane that actually do that yeah what have you found by using your name as your brand at the end of the day the most powerful thing that you can do if you're going to brand yourself in the marketplace is to have the name of the brand your name your name without a shadow of a doubt you wouldn't want to call it anything else if you could go back to day one and give yourself one piece of advice on that first day in real estate what would you tell yourself that you're on the right path the, the thing uh, that gives you longevity in this game is you genuinely got to love it yeah and uh, you've got to love dealing with people you've got to love uh, you know dealing with all aspects of the business the negotiation the marketing yeah. and I thrive on all of that yeah. so uh, one thing that I've tried to do ever since I started in real estate was to learn from the best yeah. and I still Smart. haven't stopped learning I'm constantly following the people that are relevant in the industry yeah. you've got to follow the people that are relevant that are being successful out there in the marketplace yeah. I really sort of look at some of the people that are in the Melbourne prestige sector at the moment they're probably some of the best agents in the world all the different components that makes up being a successful agent you can learn from a lot of different people that are good at different things. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And I'm, I'm constantly searching that out. Mate, that's brilliant. Yeah. You've got, well, you've got to keep on learning. Mate, this has been absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank really you. Really appreciate it.